this is the checkerboard for multiplication, and we will use it to uh, multiply numbers. Uh, we can start with one-digit numbers, and then we can multiply by two or three or even four-digit numbers. Uh, let's look at the board first and see what it tells us. Uh, we can see that there are squares that are green, blue, red. These are the hierarchical colors. Green is for units, blue is for tens, red is for hundreds. Here's green again, so this represents units of thousands, and we can see the numeral 1,000 underneath this green square. Blue stands for ten thousands, red stands for hundred thousands. Here's green again. This is for units of millions. This is where the symbol for one million is written. 10 million, 100 millions. So that's the first row of the checkerboard. As we go up to the second level, the numeral 10 tells us that this row is going to be 10 times greater than the first row. So the first square is 10, 100, units of thousands, 10 thousands, hundred thousands, units of millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Here's another unit. This will represent billions. This board gets to big, big numbers. The third row starts with 100. It's 100 times the first row. Hundreds, units of thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, units of millions, ten millions, hundred millions, units of billions, and what do you think this would be? It's blue. So it's going to represent ten billions. Wow. And the fourth row, the highest level on the checkerboard, starts with one thousand. So it's green, but it represents units of thousands. It's a thousand times greater than the first row. And it goes from units of thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, units of millions, ten millions, hundred millions, units of billions, ten billions, hundred billions. And we could imagine what would be here if it went further. So think about that. On the checkerboard, we read a number's value depending on where it's placed on the board. So this is a two, and if I put it on the units square, it stands for two units. When I move it to the tens place, now it stands for 20, two tens. Here it stands for 200. Here it stands for 2,000. So depending on where it goes on the board, it can represent that hierarchical value. There's something else interesting about this. So here's two units. Here it's two tens, or 20. And notice, this is also 20. Two hundred, this is also two hundred. This is also 200. So let's play a little game and put this somewhere on the checkerboard. I know it's red. Sometimes it's easier to read a value if I bring it to the lowest level of the checkerboard, and then I can see this two, this hundreds stands for hundred thousands. So now it's two hundred thousands. I can also read a number that has more than one digit on the checkerboard. This number has three in the units place, five in the tens place, two in the hundreds place. So I can read it as 253. This number has five in the thousands place, two in the hundreds place, three units. 
I can read it as 5,203.